new tastes, new flavours and new ideas. Stephen, Dawn and daughter Anna have a back garden full of surprises. They have a real sense of adventure when it comes to growing their own. You know, I love your garden. I really, really love it. I think it's partly because I can see meals appearing. There's something very, um, there's something very handmade about this. I love the randomness of this garden. It's just oozing with food and personality. Some more of your handiwork. Yeah, another uh, product of uh, leftover, in this case, um, from the shed. I'd stick my hand in. Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, is it quite reliable? Mm -hmm. The smallest one, she actually lays the biggest eggs. Yeah. And that's kind of weird. So you get two, and then you get one the next day, and then the other day's three. At the end of the day, they're all eggs, but it's that ornamental kind of Oh, no, color. they're not all eggs. I mean, the idea of just coming down here, yeah. just being able to pick an egg out of the straw like that. <laughs> what a delight. I'm determined to experiment today and try the things I know can be cooked, but I tend not to use. And since I've been growing stuff for myself, I've discovered bits of the plants that you don't see in the shops. Mm. But the chai flowers. We sprinkle those in the salads. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they they're lovely, taste of chocolate. slightly oniony. Yeah, mm. really nice. Beautiful. Can, can we cook with some of those? Absolutely, they yeah. I, pick some? I may have used pea shoots before, but I'm sticking my neck out trying some kohlrabi leaves. And instead of cooking the root, I'm keen to give the leaves a go. We eat turnip leaves, we eat beetroot leaves. Why not kohlrabi leaves? Same thing, same family. I don't know. I mean, we might be chomping away for hours. You've got nettles. Nettles. There's always nettles around, but we've kind of laid this area for soups and nettle beer. Because to eat, a nettle is very, very similar to spinach. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'd love to put some of those in. That would be something new for us, yeah. The new for me? Yeah. We've got to eat gloves. I certainly have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to nibbling on weird and wonderful things, it's always best to check. So I'm only putting things I recognise into my fresh herb pancake. Very keen to use the little things we've picked, and I just mm -hmm. was thinking of sort of, I don't know, a sort of pancake type thing. I'm starting out with a standard batter of eggs, milk and flour before we start experimenting. These nettles aren't going to sting me, are they? No, I'm sure they won't at this point. They've been washed <laughs> to make more sure the insects have gone. It's down to the small hairs on them, so the bigger they get, the, the more they're going to sting you. It's funny, isn't it, what we use and what we don't? And the idea that these are everywhere, they're so prolific, mm. they're so cheap, and we don't use them. Yeah. I'm going to put these little flowers in, only because I can't resist them, because yeah. they're so beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to taste. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so am I. It looks gorgeous. And these little kohlrabi leaves, heaven knows, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, yeah. well done. <laughs> <laughs> You'll actually stick a bit of cream cheese inside mm. them and roll them up. Now, how hot is he? Oh, ah. oh. Yeah, it's try flowers. Tingle on your tongue when you eat it, it's mm. lovely. Unless that's the sting. <laughs> Unless that's the sting. Mm. I love your nettles. You're getting like a bit of mustardy and then you'll get a bit of mm. more sort of like the cabbagey, which I suppose must be the... Mm. That's a kohlrabi. Mm. Mm. That idea of using something as old as a pancake batter, yeah. mm. but with exciting new things, like nettles. So do you think you're going to be uh, growing more nettles in your garden? I certainly will. Yeah. I certainly will. <laughs>